lifestyle changes. In my case, the first year after I had the radiation, I had to have four naps a day. Getting up and having breakfast would wear me right out. I'd be back in bed by 8 or 9 a.m. for a couple of hours. Up for lunch, back to bed again. Um, this settled down after about a year. I'm, I'm doing one nap a day or, or none. It's finally getting better. Um, I thought about if I could attribute the tiredness to depression, but I don't think so. I think it was just um, the radiation itself just wore me out. Uh, other people may or may not have the same experience. Um, one thing I read in the literature I got from the cancer agency was uh, a description of changes that will happen anatomically and phys physiologically two or three or five or ten years down the road. I'm starting to get urinary problems now. Not incontinence, but um, I'm getting up too many times in the night to pee, which isn't good uh, because it disturbs my sleep, and that makes me tired in the day. Um, the stream isn't as strong as it used to be. So I'm dealing with it. I, I've had consultations with a urologist even this week. Um, we're trying medication right now to help me get through the night without having to get up, uh, to make the stream stronger. In the mornings, I have to go and pee every 10 or 15 minutes, which is just is just um, weird. Other changes that could happen are thinning of the bowel wall, rectal bleeding, rectal pain. I've had none of that myself. But I read about it in the literature. I don't expect to have any of that by well, three years now since the radiation. Um, I've read that the radiation can reduce your sexual desire I don't, I don't know if the radiation has done it to me. My desire is down, but maybe it's because of my age. Maybe it's my lifestyle. Maybe it's the climate. I don't know. I've experienced some erectile dysfunction uh, related to the radiation. The doctor has prescribed a low dose of Cialis, uh, 5 milligrams. You could take it every day. I don't. I take it every two or three days. 